Hi guys, just promoted third officers. Welcome on board of your ships and thank you for coming back to watch next part of this guide. You are, probably, eager to start performing all that third mate work, but still not sure where to begin from. Then this video is for you, let's try to figure it out. So guys, let's see what you should do soon after you have finished with all the important paperwork and now you have enough time to work on deck. And this is maintenance and inspection of safety and fire equipment. Before we'll start exploring paper version of Mantanese plan, it is needed to say that there is the plan maintenance software based system, PMS, on board, that ships must be equipped with according to the ISM. That allows ship owners and operators to maintain their ships at regular intervals in accordance with manufacturer and classification society standards. Here you should check what job you must do, then you should do it, and then close it with adding some comments if there are some nuances of performed work. So, let's see what that job is all about. So, as well as in PMS program, here is the list of equipment with description of work should be done, indication of interval, how often this work should be done, like weekly, monthly, quarterly or annually, and dates of last and next maintenance, that you should fill up. In most cases maintenance of equipment include checking of its condition and location, tests, lubricating and greasing of movable parts, cleaning, replacement of worn parts, checking of batteries charge. The aim of this video is to show you where to find what you should do on the ship in the early days so you don't get confused. Therefore detailed videos of description of each equipment maintenance I'll try to make in the close future. Now let's see what you have to pay attention to. Lifeboat and rescue boat. Weekly you should do visual inspection of boat and launching device. Check engine run ahead and astern. Check batteries. Check external. Inside and emergency lights. Monthly you should lubricate door hinges, hooks and slings, grease wire falls. This job could be done by deck ratings, but you have to agree this with the chief officer. Also monthly you should check if lifeboat equipment is in order and if emergency lights for boat station are working good. Every three months you should test release mechanism. Usually this is done during lifeboat drill. Also change drinking water if it's not packed and doesn't have expired date. Life rafts. Also you should do visual inspection of life raft and launching device if there is life raft davit. Check condition and position. Emergency light for life raft station. Check embarkation ladder. Life jackets. Monthly you should check whistle, light, reflective tape. Check condition. Vessel's name marked on it if all life jackets located as designed. Replace battery for light if it's due to expire. Life buoys. Check condition of buoyant lifeline and light, retro reflected tape and grab lines. Check all lifeboat are located as per safety control plan. Check if lights batteries and MOB marker are not expired. APERB, SART and GMDSS VHF stations. This equipment is usually checked by second officer. But if it will be on you, then check condition and position, do function tests, check batteries and hydrostatic release unit for expiry date. Line throwing apparatus. Also monthly you should check condition and position and replace it if it is due to expire. Distress signals. Monthly you should check condition of pyrotechnics in the lifeboat and on the bridge. If something is due to expire, replace it. Fire control plan. Check condition of the plan and the container, where it is located. Fire hose. Monthly, check condition of the hose and fire hose box. Check position as per fire control plan. 
Check function of nozzles and lubricate them. Every year hose pressure test should be done. You should wash a fire hose with fresh water after every use. Breathing apparatus. Every month you should check the amount of air contained in the cylinders. Check tightness of the face mask and air cylinders. Check the signal alarm. Don't forget to refill the cylinders after every fire drill. International Shore Connection Monthly you should check completion of set and that it is in place according to fire control plan. Fire Hydrants Monthly you should grease valve screw, check gaskets and replace them if necessary. Portable Fire Extinguishers Monthly you should check condition and position as per fire control plan. Check safety clamp, brief instruction, and hose. Annually should be done inspection by the crew and every two years by shore service. Fireman Outfit Every month check a condition and if it is in designated location. Check and charge safety lamp. Chemical Protective Suit Every month check a condition and if it is in designated location. Immersion Suits Every month check the condition and position. Wax Zippers Usually third officer check life jackets and immersion suits together, because most of them are located in the crew cabins. EBD emergency escape breathing device. Check the condition and position. Check if it is fully charged. Fire dampers and ventilation flaps. You should check the condition and whether they close properly. Okay, guys, that's more or less all equipment and maintenance work that you should do on board. Probably, here can be added sticking of IMO symbols and cutting stencils and stenciling. This should also be done by you. Let's see one more document called Inspection of Safety Equipment. This is actually where you can find all expiry dates of all the equipment and its condition. And in the end, that the inspection of safety and fire equipment has been carried out should be recorded in the ship's deck logbook. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. In the next part we'll see what should you do with the drills. See you in the next video.